Once upon a time in Norfolk. Once upon a time in Norfolk. Once upon a time in Norfolk. There was a family called the Pastons. <laughs> Once upon a time in Norfolk. There was a famous family called the Pastons. Once upon a time in Norfolk, there was a famous family called the Pastons, and they lived in Oxmead Hall. In the early 15th century, the Pastons were upwardly mobile farmers. Who went on to become lawyers, soldiers, government officials, members of parliament, and even some who were knighted. By the end of the 16th century, they were one of the most important and powerful families in the county. In order to demonstrate their wealth, their learning and sophistication, or in other words, their, their treasures, treasures, they commissioned an amazing painting called the Paston Treasure. They commissioned an amazing painting called The Paston Treasure. The painting was quite mysterious as They never really <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it as well. See we're married, that, that's the sort of chemistry that we find. <laughs> Nobody knew if it was William Paston or his son Robert, Earl of Yarmouth, who commissioned it. Nobody knew who the little girl was. Nobody knew who the young man was. Actually, the Pastons would have known the identity of the artist, the young girl, and probably the young man too featured in the painting. But over the course of time, certainty as to their identities has been lost. The composition of the Paston treasure is also very strange. <laughs> very, very strange. It's a very, very odd painting. Very strange. <laughs> uh, the, artist, <laughs> the artist painted objects one by one. This included a parrot. <laughs> the artist probably painted these objects one by one. And these included the monkey, the shells, the globe, the hourglass, the clock, and, and the violin. The violin. And we're not going to play it because it strings up. So, but this should have been put together afterwards, yeah. and it was very unusual for a family at that time to have possessions like these. So, so how did they, they get, get them? them? The will travelled Clement Paston, and his descendant William Paston brought a whole world full of curiosities back home. They travelled in Europe and Egypt and even brought back a stuffed crocodile. Is that even a crocodile? In 1670, their fortunes were at their peak. But. 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 but, but, but. They started to have money problems caused by the ex extravagant entertainment, particularly of Charles II. And so began the downfall of the family. The Paston's wealth was actually quite short-lived. Within 50 years of this picture being painted, they were... Bankrupt. Collections sold. And Oxnead abandoned. However, the Paston treasure remains a wonderful reminder of one of the most amazing collections of 17th century Britain.